<laughs> uh, it's beautiful, and I think um, like for the same, we're very lucky to have you people advocating for it and showing, like, cutting through the misconception. You know, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'm Jimmy, and I'm pansexual. I think bisexual and pansexual are both valid and interchangeable terms. I think pansexual differs in the sense that it recognises that orientation and gender are fluid um, and it doesn't subscribe to a dichotomy or binary idea of gender and sexual orientation. Like a lot of people, I grew up in a time and place where it wasn't socially acceptable or safe to be queer. So for most of my life, I thought I was straight. And then one day after a grinder hookup, I probably realized that wasn't the case. Um, and I'm not sure, I felt unsure where I, I fitted uh, into the world in terms of my sexuality. And when I heard about the the, the concept of pansexuality, I felt that that's what fitted my expression of sexuality. I think when I'm choosing a sexual partner, um, the most important thing is that our kinks and our sort of desires and um, feelings and thoughts about exploration align. But when I'm choosing a romantic partner, it's about those things, but also feeling some magic as well. So, I personally don't understand how anyone could be blind to other people's sort of innate characteristics. Um, I see gender, um, but that doesn't dictate who I feel sexual attraction to. I think it can be really hard um, to articulate your pansexual tendencies um, within uh, a monogamous heterosexual relationship. My experience was um, when I realised I was pansexual, I also realised that I wanted to explore kink and I disbanded my vanilla hetero relationship because of that. Um, but now I'm very happy in a um, hetero relationship and it's certainly not a barrier, it's a thing that is celebrated. Absolutely, um, being pansexual isn't a barrier um, to any of those, those doors. So you can exist in monogamy, you can exist in queer culture, you can exist in straight culture. Um, it opens doors, it doesn't close them. I'm very fortunate that because I exist within hetero relationships, I have hetero passing privilege. So because of that, I've been able to come out to family and friends in times and in ways that suit me. Um, and that's been person by person, but I've always had a really positive response. I think it's a significant part of who I am just like the rest of my sexual identity is. Um, it's something that I really love about myself and brings me and my partner great happiness. I think a lot of us hold our own internalised prejudice, but I think outwardly um, there are often feelings within society that um, pansexual people are greedy or non-committal or don't quite fit into a particular um, aspect of the community but none of that's true um, we fit in we fit in very well <laughs>